What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've ever had to make the choice between getting a laptop computer and a desktop, you know that this decision has historically been filled with compromises. Luckily, that era may finally be coming to an end with the rise of the eGPUs. The eGPU we're talking about today specifically is the black magic design right here. So let's see what kind of performance gains you get from this and whether or not it lives up to the hype. So if you're not familiar with it, an eGPU up until this point has typically been an enclosure where you can then go out and buy a desktop graphics card of your choice and then the enclosure connects through Thunderbolt 3 or sometimes a proprietary connector to your computer and that gives you generally about 80% of the full performance of that desktop class graphics card. What makes this, the Blackmagic eGPU, unique is that they've built it around a specific graphics card. And that card is the Radeon Pro 580. Obviously the negative to this is that you can't switch the card out. Now this enclosure is $700. So when you start to think about it, the price of a MacBook Pro, which comes with a GPU and then buying an additional GPU, it starts to become obviously not the most effective solution per dollar. With that being said, there's a lot of really cool things you get for the money with this enclosure. And the first thing is it gives you a full 85 watt charge through the Thunderbolt 3 cable. That's nice because it can fully charge the 15 inch MacBook Pro, which some of the other Thunderbolt 3 accessories do not. In addition, they give you the HDMI port to drive an external monitor, another Thunderbolt 3 port to connect a display like the LG 5K display. And then they give you regular USB ports so you can have all of your desktop peripherals plugged into that. All you need to do is plug that Thunderbolt 3 cord into your computer and you're all set to go. The design itself of the eGPU is all aluminum. It's really sturdy, it feels well-made, and it's a compact design. The thing I like most about it is that it's quiet, and I mean super quiet. That part of it, I really would give them a big thumbs up on because having it on your desk, the worst thing is getting a bunch of fan noise. Now, like I mentioned, this has the Radeon Pro 580. The card that I have in my MacBook Pro, which is the 15 inch, is the Radeon Pro 560. So this jumps you from four gigs of RAM to eight gigs of RAM. And a lot of the other specs on the GPU are more or less double that of the specs of the GPU inside the MacBook Pro. So with the performance double on paper, the real thing you wanna look at is how do those specs translate into real world performance? And the good news is if you look at the benchmarks here that I've run, I'm getting almost double the performance to the number uh, that I was with the laptop just without the GPU. And that's a good sign because Typically, you're not gonna get all the performance. You lose a little bit through the Thunderbolt 3 bandwidth, but here I'm seeing double the performance on the benchmarks and in some of more like less formal testing using Final Cut Pro and exporting videos, this GPU was not only always faster, but it was pretty significantly faster. And overall performance inside of the application just seems snappier and that's always hard when people say that because it's such a, thing that you're judging, but to me, it does run better. And I think that for the money, the performance definitely delivers. One area where I wasn't able to find the performance was doing some like light gaming. I downloaded some of the games that run on Mac and I was getting a lot of like crashing with this GPU, which I never got in any of the editing or creative programs. So I'm not really sure if it's a driver thing or an update that has to happen, but I don't think most people would care about gaming with this and I don't think it's geared at gamers, but I do think, I just wanna let you guys know in case you're thinking of that or wondering, if you guys have any other specific questions, leave them in the comments below or ask me on Twitter or something and I'll try to get back to you and do some additional tests or whatever to answer those questions if a bunch of people kind of have, are wondering the same thing. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And as always guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.